Why do I like alcohol and drugs so much to make me happy? <laughs> Very simple answer is because they meet your addictions, your emotional addictions, not just your physical ones. So what happens with alcohol and drugs and other substances is that they are a pretty flawless way of meeting addictions in the sense that there's no people involved and you're not having to manipulate another person to get the addiction met generally. A substance meets it instead. Uh -huh. So most people turn to substance, uh, substance abuse in order to, to calm down certain fear-based emotions within themselves. And so what they do is that there are emotional addictions they have and they find that the substance best meets their emotional addiction. It makes them feel happy, like they say. They want to feel happy. And very, for people who turn to substance abuse, it's very rare that a person makes them feel happy. And so what they do is they turn to physical things to make them feel happy. Mm -hmm. So that might be food or drugs or alcohol. It can be just things that are classified on this planet uh, as normal, like, you know, watching television, you know, playing video games and other things like that too. Mm -hmm. It can be very simple things that, that are physical in nature that don't involve people that help you avoid the emotions that do involve people. Mm -hmm. So usually a lot of these uh, emotions are the emotions revolving around people. When we turn to substance abuse, it usually means we have trouble interacting with people and we need the substances in order to interact with people. And that's an indication that during our childhood we've got issues with regard to one or both parents that we need to allow ourselves to feel. And there's usually a lot of grief associated with those particular feelings and a lot of fear associated with them. And we use these addictions to suppress those emotions. Yeah. So that's why, you've, why alcohol and drugs make you feel happy. Mm. Once you get to the stage where you want to feel your emotional addictions and you want to feel the damage that was done to you during your childhood, you will find that alcohol and drugs won't make you happy at all. In fact, you'll find you'll, your body and you will feel them as very toxic to yourself and you will no longer wish to take them actually. So that's how you release the addictions to substances, by actually going in or delving into the emotional addictions that drive the addiction to the substance and allow yourself to work your way through those emotional addictions. Mm. Now, of course, uh, with alcohol and drugs and other substances, uh, there are many sorts of emotional addictions that drive us to substance abuse. And it would be best if we, if we were, you know, we can answer individual questions about what particular emotion in the person drives them to that particular substance. Yeah. And so forth. So, so why is it that some people are driven to food when other people are driven to alcohol, when other people are driven to marijuana or drugs, when other people are driven to uh, watching television all the time and tuning out of their life, when other people are driven to sex, when other people are driven to work, mm -hmm. you know, to work harder and work longer and, and all those kind of things. What, what causes these different addictions? Well, different emotions inside of us uh, cause, the combination of different emotions inside of us cause an addiction to a specific thing. Yeah. And in each case, it's quite different. So, you know, we can't generalise those particular things because in each person, the addiction to a specific substance is caused by a combination of emotions inside of themselves and a combination of their current belief systems yeah. that need to be addressed. If you're addicted to a substance, my suggestion is always go to get some psychological help from a person who understands emotion mm -hmm. and understands what it is underneath the thing that's driving the addiction. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah.